Hello, I am Michael George. In this lesson, I will give you five rules to improve your fluency. If you find a verb in the past tense and this verb consists of three letters, you can apply the five rules to it. For example, you can apply the five rules to these verbs. Dahka, Baka, Saada, Galasa, Laiba, Dafa, رسم ركب سمع نظر شرب طه قتل كتب ضرب وقف and so on let me explain the first rule to you here are the three characters of the verb you can add the letter alif after the first letter of the verb to express the person who do the verb it's like adding er to the verb in English. For example, Rakaba means road, Rakib means rider, Laiba means played, Laib means player. Here is another example Taha, Tahi, Kataba, Katib. The second rule is that you can add the character Alif at the beginning of a verb to express the imperative form and to give commands, instructions, orders or requests. The word kataba means wrote, the word iktib means write. For example, iktib ismak, iktib ismak. Here is another example, sami'a, isma. اسمع هذه الأغنية فتح افتح افتح الباب شكر أشكر رفع ارفع The third rule is that you can add meme at the beginning and wow before the last letter to form the past participle This past participle can be used as an adjective too For example Broke means kasara, broken means maksur. Let's use the word maksur in a sentence. Heya wagadat qifl maksur. Heya wagadat qifl maksur. In this sentence, the word maksur is an adjective. Let's take another sentence. Al qifl maksur. Al-Qifl Maksur This is not a passive speech in Arabic, but it can be translated as a passive speech. Let's take another example. Wagada Mawgood Allah Mawgood Allah Mawgood Let's take the next rule. You can convert the verb into a noun by adding meme at the beginning of that verb. For example, Bana Mabna كتب مكتب لعب ملعب سكن مسكن This is the last rule. You can form a passive speech by changing the pronunciation. Add the character O after the first character and the character E before the last character. In Arabic, we don't use past participle to form passive speech. Here is an example and please pay attention to the pronunciation. Nashara, Nushira. Al Kitab, Nushira. Al Kitab, Nushira. Qata'a, Qata'a. Al Shagar, Qata'a. Al Shagar, Qata'a. Hazama, Huzima. Al Adu, Huzima. Al Adu, Huzima. Taha Tohia Al Taam Tohia Al Taam Tohia Those five rules has exceptions. So after you edit a verb, you should translate it using Google Translation to make sure that your new word has a meaning and exists in the dictionary. If you liked this lesson, please hit the like button and share it with your friends. And thanks for watching.